can I talk about something? And I am not trying to be rude or offensive or insensitive. I think there are some people who cut themselves. I guess take a knife or something sharp and cut themselves, either their legs, arms, or whatever. Some people may cut themselves, I guess, because of mental anguish. Like, some people may cut themselves probably something bad happening or is still happening to them. Maybe they don't feel loved. Maybe they may have been raped, molested, or whatever when they were younger. So I guess in some cases, they may cut themselves. I guess some people think that, I guess it is a way to let out the pain. I guess some people cut themselves to show there is a problem. Maybe they don't know how to verbalize their pain, so I guess they began to do self-destructive things to themselves. If we go in the Bible, and some people may believe it is acceptable to cut themselves. Okay, if we go in the Bible, and I don't have the scriptures on me, and I may not say it in the right way, but I believe in the Bible there was a man that was possessed with many demons. And one of the things that man would do is what? Is cut, is cut himself. So you may think to yourself that this is the way you express your pain. This is okay. This is better than killing yourself or whatever. But, and I feel this to be true as well. I think by you cutting yourself, now I may not be 100% accurate in this, but I think there is a large chance there is a demon in you. Because if you go in the Bible, that man would cut himself. Okay, you may be cutting yourself right now. You may believe it is acceptable. So what I believe you should do, you know, if you need to find help, find help. Repent of your sins and totally give your life to God if you haven't done these things. Now, you may think that I am being insensitive or I don't know what I am talking about. Okay. If I am doing something that is giving way giving, 
I guess I can say giving power more to demons. Let's say I am actively every day doing something that demons want, my Lord. Let's say I am doing something that demons want. What do you believe is going to happen? Like, do you believe the demons will be like, well, since you are doing what I like, you know, I am going to influence you less. I am not going to bother you. You know, I will leave if you cut yourself 10 more times. No, I believe if you do things demons want, I think to stop that thing will become much harder. I think you are giving, I guess I can say, I don't know the proper words, but I believe you are giving the demon strength. So, if it is true you are giving demon strength by cutting yourself, yes, you may not have known it. Maybe I am not all the way right. But if it is true you are giving demon strength by engaging in activities like that, I think it is time to stop. The same thing, I believe it is the same thing with masturbation. I think some people may say, let me do it one time, one more time, then tomorrow I am going to stop. Or let me do it one more time and after that I will stop. But usually, and I think most of the time, if you give in to that time, it's like, I guess with some people, it's like a force that pushes you toward it more. So the best thing to do is to just stop, like right now. Because if, you know, let's say that I am doing something that demons want. I believe if I continue to give myself over to it, I think it is going to be that much harder for me to give it up. Right? I believe so. So, I believe and as it is in the Bible too, I believe cutting yourself is extremely demonic. What Christian in the Bible, true Christian in the Bible, where it speaks about because they were depressed, well, Abraham was depressed, so it was acceptable for him to cut himself. Jacob was sad because, you know, he endured some hard times. So God allowed Jacob to cut himself. No. Cutting yourself. I think some people may believe cutting themselves allows them to release some pain out, which I believe is not true. I think doing that stuff will place you under bondage more. I don't think anywhere in the Bible any true man or woman of God to where it was acceptable for them to cut themselves. So if you are doing that, find another way to deal with your problems. Don't kill yourself. Speak to someone about what you are going through. Pray to God. You may believe praying to God is ineffective, 
but I think it is extremely effective. I think one of the ways, I guess you can say the Holy Spirit, I think it is the Holy Spirit or whomever, I think one of the ways the Holy Spirit can speak through us, speak to us, is through our thoughts. So I believe demons can speak to our thoughts, and I believe demons can speak through our thoughts as well, if that makes any sense. Or should I say, can place thoughts into our mind? Maybe I should say that. And I forget the point <laughs> of me talking about that. <laughs> Very strange. But anyways, find another way to deal with your problems. Give yourself over to God more and more. You can cry to him. You can ask him what is going on in a respectful way. Nothing rude. Go to him, read your Bible. But if you have any bitterness and hate and whatever else, you need to let that stuff go quickly. Before, in my past, I never cut myself on purpose, I don't believe. I don't believe. You know, not in the same way to where I wanted to cut my wrist and stuff like that, no. But I had so much bitterness and hate and anger and stuff like that. And I think one of the reasons why I had all of that is because of stuff from my past, stuff that I like I did not I guess at that time I did not want to forgive you know I think much of it I wanted to get payback like even though I was doing so much wrong see I think that is very interesting I think with some people they may say they were done wrong so much in the past, but they may be currently doing so much wrong to people now. So how can you still cry about what people have done to you in the past if you are currently doing wrong to people now? Like, how unjust is that? So, is your wrong canceled out because of what happened to you in your past? So, can um, your past. So, can you continue doing what is wrong and for it to be right? So, can you call your constant wrong right? because of what happened to you in your past. So do you get like a free ticket to do evil to people and people should just get over it because you suffered wrong in your past? That is evil. That is very, very evil. And I tell you this, if you continue to be that way, your life is going to be so bad. Yes, you may get a car. Yes, you may get a house and earthly stuff. But I believe the quality of your life will be bad for you. Because how can it be good? Having earthly stuff doesn't mean that you have a good life, does it? So can you gauge a person's life by their possessions? I think not. I think it is about your state of being. How is your mind? How is your health? How is life going for you? Okay, let me stop here.
God bless you.